Whenever the laws of any state are broken, a duly authorized organization swings into action. It may be called the state troopers, militia, the rangers, or the highway patrol. These are the stories of the men whose training, skill, and courage have enforced and preserved our state laws. Enforcement agencies seldom encounter armored truck robberies. The armored trucks are traveling fortresses, and the precautious operating procedures used in the pickup and delivery of monies preclude any successful robberies. However, the trucks are tempting targets, and early last July, three criminals started an elaborate plan to rob truck number 15, which made a daily stop at the Shermart supermarket. Don Brueger, an ice cream vendor, also began making a daily stop at the market. After the first few days, his presence was accepted by the guards, and Brueger was able to observe the armored truck's security routine. The first phase of the criminal's plan was in operation. Two weeks later, Rusty Schilling arrived on the scene, an itinerant photographer. He, too, was inspected by the armored truck guards. But as time passed, he, too, was accepted. Step two of the criminal's plan was in operation. By the middle of August, both men had become boringly familiar parts of the scenery. August 20th, armored truck guard Bill Franklin was leaving for work. It was important to the criminal's plans that Franklin work as the inside guard on this date. Well, bye, honey. See you later. Have a nice day. You too. Love you. Morning, Lee. Hi, Betty. You know, I'd be scared too. Scared of what? Watching Bill go off to work. Oh, Betty, don't be silly. You know I never worry about Bill. Well, I would if he were my husband, riding around in an armored truck full of money. Oh, Bill can take care of himself. Safer than he was in the paratroops. <laughs> Tiny Elsom was the silent partner of the photographer and the ice cream vendor. He had found the location and set them up in business. For Tiny, this day would climax two months of careful observation and preparation. His presence on the scene indicated to the others that he had ascertained that the right personnel were manning the armored truck. If the attempt at the Shermart were successful, Tiny was to handle the final phase of the operation. Go ahead. What's the number of the truck? Now, wait a minute. You mean the guard is still in the back of the truck? All right, have him keep calling in. Check his location every once in a while. I'll be right over. Thanks very much. How 
Sheriff Guy number 15 was seized at the Sheremont supermarket by holdup men. They're going east now on Route 5. They got a guard barricaded in the back. He's got the payroll with him. It's around 20, 25,000. What other units are in that area? 2133 is way over by the boulevard, and 2118 is down at the bridge construction, regulating the traffic. 2107 is the closest. Have 2107 go to the supermarket. Where's 2114? At an accident near the high school. Pull 2118 off the traffic control. Have them join 2133. Go to Route 5 right away. Now, in the armored truck, they got a radio in the back. I'm going over there. If I hear anything, I'll call you. Headquarters to 2107. 2107, bye. 2107 to Shermart Supermarket. A 211 armed robbery. about 50 miles an hour. I figure these guys will stop along here somewhere and try to get me to open up. I got enough ammunition to stall them for maybe an hour. Watch with the highway patrol. Over. The head of the patrol's on his way here now. They've already been notified. He told me to keep checking your position. They've probably got units out tracking your position right now. Mr. Simpson? Yeah, you, Matthews. Yeah, that's right. When did he report in? Uh, just a moment ago. Uh, they're on Route 5 headed uh, east. Franklin figures I'll be stopping soon to, to get him to open up. He couldn't be in a safer place as long as he stays there. Yeah. Get my office, I'll talk to Franklin. This is Matthews Highway Patrol. What's your position? We're still on Route 5. We passed the power station about three minutes ago. One of my cars should pick you up in about seven or eight minutes, another in about ten. Keep reporting in. Okay. Uh, hello, hello. Human occasions? This is Simpson of the armed car office. Matthews is talking to the guard. The truck's still heading east on Route 5, about three miles past the power station. Anything else? Keep the line open. Nothing else, but keep the line open. Hello, Matthews. We are stopping. What's your position? All I can see is a power line and some trees. One of the holdup men is getting out. All right, stay in there. Don't run for it. As long as you're in there, you're safe. Franklin. Franklin, what's wrong? We can't reach you. I think he's trying to break off that... They broke the antenna. That figures. This is Matthews. They broke the truck's antenna. Last location, somewhere between Miller's Creek and the power station on Route 5. Frank, you know anything about radios? Yeah, of course. Can you rig an antenna inside that truck? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm going to stand by here. Franklin might be able to rig up a temporary antenna inside that truck. If he does, we might be able to pick him up. There's a better chance of 2118 or 2133 picking him up there closer. Yeah, I know we don't broadcast in the same frequency. But 2118 and 2133 are so close we might overlap. So alert him. If we don't find that truck, Franklin's going to get killed. Tell you this, but your husband's been hurting a smash-up. Bill? Are you sure? He works on one of those armored cars, doesn't he? Oh, Bill. He's probably at the hospital by now. I'm supposed to take you there right away. Oh, I'll be right with you. Something wrong, Lee? Oh, Bill, he's been in a wreck. Oh, is he hurt? They took him to the hospital.
for cops? He's wasting ammunition. Nobody can hear him from here. Officer Arnold had questioned the employees and customers of the Shermart supermarket without success. The description of the criminals given by these untrained and excited observers was conflicting and confusing. The guard and driver of the armored truck were more helpful. Both of them agreed on the general description of the photographer and the ice cream vendor. However, no one had noticed any distinctive characteristics that would aid in identifying the criminals. The driver and guard were requested to visit Highway Patrol headquarters and view the mugshots. Officer Arnold impounded the camera and cart and telephoned Dan Matthews to report the negative result of his investigation. All right, ask around some more. If they ditch that truck, all we've got to go on are descriptions. Anything from 2118 to 2133? No, they probably didn't pick up a signal from Franklin either. All right, tell them to keep trying. Tell them to check all the side roads. What's that? A phone call just came in from Franklin's next door neighbor asking what hospital he's been taken to. She's under the impression his truck was in a wreck, but we have no accident report on it. Where'd she get that idea? She said Mrs. Franklin told her about it as she was leaving for the hospital. Let me have the woman's name and address. All right, check the hospitals. Alert 2118 and 2133. Have 2107 go out and help them. Have them check everything on the highway. Farms, garages, cars, everything. I'll keep this line open for Simpson in case he makes a contact. What's up? I don't know. A neighbor of Franklin said Franklin's wife just left to the hospital to see him. That's impossible. Well, the whole thing's starting to make sense right now. They got Franklin in the back of the armored truck, right? Uh -huh. They're not trying to get him out, and they drive like they know where they're going. Figure they're going to have trouble with him. They're going to use his wife to get him out. I'm going over and talk to the neighbor. I'll keep trying to raise Franklin. Let me know if you hear anything. Right. Mrs. Linquist? Yes? Matthews Highway Patrol. Now tell me, what's this about your next door neighbor? Bill Franklin? Oh, he was hurt in a wreck. Well, what makes you think so? Why, I know so. Why else would his wife go rushing off to the hospital? Mrs. Linquist, we have no report of the accident. Oh, well, I can't be. I mean, why would she get in a car with a perfect stranger? What perfect stranger? Why, the one that drove her to the hospital. I would have given her my car, now, wait a minute. But... Is he the one that told her about the accident? Oh, he, he must have been. Mrs. Linkwist, describe him and the car if you can. Oh, yes. Sit tight and shut up. Now, what is this? Just who are you? Oh, just a few more miles and you'll understand everything. I think I understand now. Now, let me out of here. Now, stop! <laughs> let me go! Cut it out. Now, listen, get this straight. We've got your husband, and if you want him to live, you do exactly as you're told. See anything of an armored car down the road? Uh, no, sorry. Okay. should have been here by now with the dame. Relax, he will be. Well, maybe he couldn't talk her into coming out here with him. Look, Tiny planned this job, run to this farm, figured out every move, he'll get here. You just keep your eye on that truck in case Franklin tries to run for it. I hope he does.
107, bye. Be on the alert for 1955 or 56 green sedan. Driver is tall, fat, wears a gray suit and a hat, has a ruddy complexion. There's a guy picked up Mrs. Franklin. He's probably holding her as a hostage. She's 22, very attractive. She has red hair. 10-4? 2107 to 2150. Car and passengers answering this description have just passed this point. Going east, one mile west of the Hilton turnoff. I'll investigate immediately. I'm not too far behind you. 10-4. Something else comes up. Notify the highway patrol. This is armor truck 1-5. I am located two miles north of Route 5 on a dirt road. Turn off at mailbox marked Kingsbury. Please acknowledge. Franklin, you try anything and your wife gets it. Everything okay? It is now. Can you hear me, Franklin? I don't have to spell this out for you. It's a simple choice between that money and your wife. You won't get away with this. There are police all over the area. This is Bill Franklin calling. I need help desperately. I am located two miles north of Route 5. Dirt road turns off at mailbox Mark Kingsbury. Over. This is Bill Franklin calling. 2150 to 2107, 2118, and 2133. Did you pick up a signal from Bill Franklin? 2107 to 2150. Yes. Shall I reply to it? No, he won't be able to receive you. Find that mailbox fast. I'm right behind you. We can't be too far away. 10-4? 10-4. 2150 calling 2118 and 2133. Armored truck is two miles north of Route 5. Make up your mind, Franklin. We don't have all day. Okay. Here's the money. Now release my wife. This is it. Let's move. But you said you'd let me go. Uh, we still need you, sister. Franklin. The holdup men have gone back towards Route 5. They are still holding my wife hostage. Can you hear me? Come in, please. the road. Alert 2133 and 2118 and join me. 10-4. 10-4. I'm Matthews, Highway Patrol. We need your help. Want to use your truck to set up a roadblock. Back it into that hillside there. I'll cover the other side. side road and hide.
right end of the line. Come on with your hands up. Nothing doing. We got a passenger in the back seat. I'm giving you exactly one minute to clear the road. Start now. It won't work. Give yourself up. Let them go. They'll kill my wife. Better let Mr. Matthews handle this. Don't shoot. I'll make him let you go. You can't let him kill my wife, Matthews. Clear the road. I can't. The minute they're in the clear, they're going to kill her. We've got to save her right now. Look, you're kidding yourselves. You're not going to shoot her. She's your protection. 30 seconds. Unless you want this girl's death in your conscience, move that car. Throw your guns out and surrender. Right now, you face a charge of armed robbery. If you kill her, it's going to be murder. Premeditated murder. You'll get the chair, all of you. Hey, Franklin. You're going to let them get your wife killed? Let them go, please. No payroll in the world is worth it. Ten seconds. You're digging this girl's grave. You're digging your own grave. The bluff won't work. A stretch in a pen is better than a chair. Move that car as she gets it. Take a good look at the girl. If you kill her, that's exactly how you'll feel when they throw the switch. Move that car! You'll beg for mercy, but you'll still die. Hold it! Don't shoot! Don't! Look, if he shoots her, I'm not in it. I frisk him. Lie down the road, face down. You in the front seat. You want to stay alive with him? Or die for murder with him? Get behind that wheel. I'll get us out of this. You got ten seconds to move that truck cop or this lady gets it. Lie down with him. You're all by yourself now. If you pull that trigger, you're gonna die. If he pulls that trigger, we'll riddle the car with bullets. Right. Are you gonna move that car? No. We're gonna stay right here till you make your move. Now, come on, let the girl out of the car. Throw your gun out. Come on with your hands on top of your head. Cover him, Arnold. All right, turn around. Put your hands up on the car. I'm sorry. What are you sorry about? For trying to make you let them go. I've never been so worried. I got news for you. Me too. Oh, right, you got the money. Fine. I'll move the car off the road, then I'll call headquarters. Have one of the boys pick it up. Oh, by the way, there's a real scared truck driver hiding down that road. Tell him everything's okay. See the Highway Patrol in action again next week. Until then, remember, leave your blood at the Red Cross, not on the highway. This is Roderick Crawford saying, see you next week.